stand? Who stand? Our Father in the Lord is here with the anointing and power. And get ready, get ready, receive your blessing. You are welcome, sir. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, is here to minister to us with the anointing and power. Welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this hour, the hour for your word to penetrate every heart. We're asking, Lord, that the word will do good in every life in Jesus' name. Amen. That our spirit, our soul, our body, our life, our destiny will receive by turning around by your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn our eyes towards heaven, Amen. towards Jesus, Amen. and towards the destiny you are preparing for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, Lord, that you take away our limitation, limitation to this angle, to this angle, to that one, and to that one, and give us a broad view of who Christ is, of what Christ has come to do and what Christ will effect in every life and confirm your word in every life. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. We're coming to Romans chapter 5 and I'm reading from verse 8. Romans chapter 5, we're looking at it from verse 8. But God commended is love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In verse 9, it says, Much more than being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Then in verse 10, it tells us, It says, For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. In verse 11, it now brings up everything in summary. And it says, and not only so, but we also joy. We rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have received the atonement. We're talking about the atonement today, the atonement of Christ that he made on the cross at Calvary. And he made that for everyone, for you, for me, for everyone on earth. But it says we have to receive, we have to receive. We receive the atonement. And when it says we, who is he talking about? It's talking about those who understand the importance of his sacrifice, the importance of his substitution, and the importance of the salvation he brought to the rest, to the whole world. The salvation is for everyone. The atonement is for everyone. The redemption, the reconciliation is for everyone. But there are people that will have to receive. You receive and then the effect of the atonement becomes yours. It tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2, reading from verse 3, it says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, verse 4, tells us who will have all men to be saved. He wants all men to get saved. He wants all men to benefit from the atonement that Christ made on the cross of Calvary. Atonement, already I read Romans to you. And you'll see that Romans chapter 5, it talks mainly about our soul, our spirit, our salvation and the cleansing that he does and the conversion that he does we were enemies against god but now he reconciles us to god and that reconciliation is the center of the effect of the atonement and he wants all men to be saved and all men to come 
to the knowledge of the truth. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance, that all shall come to repentance. Because in coming to redem in coming to repentance, you come to redemption. In coming to repentance, you come to reconciliation with God. In coming to repentance by faith, you come to the righteousness of the Lord that He purchased for us on the cross of Calvary. And He wants the eyes of your mind to focus on that repentance, that righteousness, that redemption, that reconciliation. There are people that only think of Christ when they're sick. There are people that only think of Christ when they have infirmity. They, they don't feel the leprosy of their sin. You understand? People who have leprosy, they don't generally have the feeling until the leprosy spreads in the whole body and then they have to be cast out of the midst of the people of God. And many people are not conscious of their sin, the presence of sin, the power of sin in their lives, the pollution of sin in their lives. They are not uh, conscious of the punishment, eternal punishment of sin in their lives. When they think about Christ, they think about their body. Healing for the body, that's good. Uh, that's the little minutest part of the atonement that Jesus made. The center of that atonement, the effect of that atonement is that you are conscious that sin will plague your life, destroy your life, and get you to hell, eternal punishment. And that first of all, in your heart, you look at Jesus and you know he made a complete atonement for your sin and you want to turn, turn away from sin and turn away from darkness and turn to the Lord for the salvation of your soul. Healing is good. Healing gives us some ease over here on earth. But sin will damage our lives and send us to hell.